It's a warm October morning. It's Sunday, you wake up peacefully only to realize your room's absolutely fucking disgusting. If you don't get your act together, you're just going to tumble down into your sad little hole of depression. That means you. Get out of bed, you little dumb bitch. YouTube decided to copyright my intro after using it for three years straight. Ow! Fuck. So, my boyfriend dragged me across the street by accident the other day. <laughs> and I'm injured still. And just every time that this makes contact with anything, it stings. So that's really cute. Anyway, what's up, Hopknockers? This is the second intro that I filmed in my bed and honestly i'm not hating it at all today i am going to be sharing with you my weekly reset routine I had a very exciting night yesterday to say the least so we need to get our lives back on track because we need to be productive it's good to have a fair share of being productive and having fun because you can do both you don't have to be that girl 24 7 like to get myself back on track here's what we're gonna do we're gonna lay out the schedule guys it's going to be crazy strap your vlog belts on because you are not ready for this one uh, we're going to go to the gym today get all clean and nice organize and clean our rooms and we're going to run some errands because i need some stuff i don't really know what i need but i need some stuff before the video starts I love that one of my subscribers gave me this pillow. Like, this is so convenient. I don't even have to edit in the subscribe button. Follow all my social medias for a kiss. Like this video. Because YouTube algorithm is shit. Anyway. Ow. My legs are still sore from hitting leg day yesterday. And honestly, I'm dying. I'm kind of all over the place. I would just like to formally apologize. But this is why we're doing the weekly reset. Because we need it. So. Okay, first let's go to Starbucks and get a croissant. Yeah. I know makeup wipes are bad for your skin, but I'm going to use them anyway, so feel free to harass me in the comments about it. Don't worry, I deserve it. Damn. I have my Celsius today. When influencers post up this energy drink, they're actually not lying. It gives me a lot of energy. Hi, can I just have a chocolate croissant? Thank you. Thank you. You too. Dude, when they just like directly look into the camera. <laughs> like every time, bro. Every time. It doesn't look that aesthetic, but it tastes like fucking heaven. They never miss, dude. They absolutely never miss. I'm telling you right now, if you want to know the best food to get at Starbucks, it is not no sausage, egg, and cheese bullshit. It is the chocolate croissant warmed up perfection they never miss anyway now let me just talk with like food coming out of my ass i saw a lot of tiktoks and some instagram stories about how i eat like carbs before the gym you'll have like a way better pump and a way better gym session so i decided to put that to the test with a chocolate croissant and then i'm gonna go lift and see if it gives me more energy that combined with the pre-workout honestly should like have me on my way besties let me know in the comments how your weekend has been never mind i upload this during the week so let me know in the comments how your week has been i genuinely you only want to know i do respond and read and heart pretty much all my comments go check if you think i'm lying so talk to me dude i'm just like scarfing this shit down nice me and curfew have saying too much pleasure is pain my girl spites me in vain all i do is complain she needs yeah, so Need to take off the ass So fuck it all tonight And don't tell me to shut up When you know you talk too much But you don't got shit to say I want you out of my bed Okay, 
<laughs> hey, just got back from the gym, Hobnacker. This is kind of bad because before I went to the gym, I couldn't feel my legs because I had leg day yesterday. Today was upper body day, and now I can't feel my arms. So, basically, I just feel like a lifeless uh, carrot. So, that's really cute. I literally am like limping, so. But honestly, like, I kind of like the pain, not gonna lie. Kind of kinky, but whatever. As you can tell, I hate sitting around. I hate laying around. I'm pretty much like, go, go, go. I never really give myself a break, which is not necessarily a good thing, but like, it's just how I am. I hate like sitting still and like being bored. We're gonna run some errands. Also, another issue that no one asked for, my phone is so broken and dead and I couldn't even film in the gym because I don't want to bring my camera to the gym because it probably would have got like stolen. So I brought my phone and I don't even have enough storage to film videos on it and like what kind of social media influencer has a phone that they can't record on? That's fucking bullshit. So um, if I should buy the iPhone 13, let me know in the comments. I don't know. I'm like, I want to do it so bad, but like, and I can do it. Like I have the money, but there's just something in my head that's like, Lauren, like you do not need it. You don't need it when I literally like need it. So feel free to comment down below convincing me to get the iPhone 13. Please, 13 max actually. Anyway, let's get around some errands. Oh my god, I can't even walk, I forgot. Okay, I'm just a tad bit embarrassed to admit that I did spend about $40 at CVS, but I can explain, don't you even worry besties. Number one, leave-in conditioner. Garnier damage repairing conditioner, Tresemme heat protectant spray. Uh -uh. But this stuff I didn't need, I kind of wanted rather. These earrings, cause I lose all of my dangly earrings, but now that I'm a clean and productive girly, am I trying to convince me or you guys? Anyway, I got these, so hopefully they won't get lost and then i also got like simple hoops so that's everything i got from cvs i'm excited to finally have conditioner because i am a little bit embarrassed to admit that i haven't been using conditioner for about a week now because i ran out so our hair is about to be hashtag busting ew i hate when people say that Dumbest motherfucker, bro. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I don't know how it didn't get on this though. I got so lucky. There goes my coffee and my fucking floor. Dude, every time that I try to do something right. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that soak and back to cleaning. Anyway. <laughs>
I'm about to make a protein shake now and I'm gonna tell you guys how to make your protein shakes actually taste good and not taste like dog shit. So number one, I swear by this shit. Like I would mix this with my ashes when I got cremated. That's how good it is. This is the ghost Oreo protein powder. Fucking delicious. And then, ow, fuck. <laughs> Everything on my body's just breaking. We're gonna take two Oreos, only two. We're not trying to get fat, we're trying to get muscular. This is just for flavor. Don't worry, if you put two Oreos in your protein shake, you won't die, I promise. Then we're gonna take some marshmallow fluff, courtesy of my brother. And so first thing I do, cup, ice, milk. If you hate milk, if you're one of those people that's like, ew, I hate milk, like it's so gross. Don't worry, you're not gonna taste it but it is good to keep your bones strong if you're going to be lifting that much weight. Okay, no one freak out. We're gonna get one scoop of this, and this has 25 grams of protein in a scoop, which is pretty good, not gonna lie, but it's expensive as fuck. So, just like that. Look how sexy that is. I feel like such a fucking gym rat, like giving you guys a protein shake tutorial, but like, if you want that dump truck, that big bunda, as some may say, you need a good amount of protein in your diet. Ow, fuck. I can't feel my legs still. Cause you can lift and lift and lift, but if you're not having protein in your diet, like, it's not really gonna mean shit. Not gonna lie. And I wish you could see this. Like, I, I need to get a tripod. This is getting really bad. Don't worry, guys. I'm a terrible YouTuber. I am getting a tripod soon. I'm gonna break up the Oreo so it doesn't, like, actually break the Nutribullet. I'm gonna add this fast because I don't want my brother to know I'm using it. Rain, do you want to say hi to my vlog? Yeah. Anyway, now I'm adding milk. Oh, he doesn't want to be in the vlog, guys. Now I'm going to put it on the ninja. What the f Whoa. What happened? I thought it was haunted. No, I was like, what the fuck? Put them out and them out, like what? Like a uh, navios. What the fuck is that? The moat. The moat. Taste test. That taste test. Does like she like it? I like it. It works. <laughs> now Mini Rain is making his. He has his setup and he's ready to go. <laughs> What's up, pop knockers? another Olaplex treatment on my hair. So I'm just gonna wet my hair and do the deed. Because we want our hair to be stronger and it helps repair the damage that the bleach did to my hair for the past five years. And who's screaming? Like, anyway. <laughs> do these little dreads still form in my hair and the only way to get rid of them the subscriber actually gave me the advice of how to get rid of them 
Magdalena Perez. Sorry if I said your name wrong. From a person who understands having the little dreads, use a wide tooth comb and Garnier leave-in conditioner to brush it out. I literally love my subscribers so much. I read every comment and definitely take your guys' advice as you can see. So shout out to you, Mag. I'll just call you that because you're really helping a girl out here. I just love my subscribers and my entire like little, I like to call you guys like a friend group because honestly, you guys help me out sometimes more than my actual friends. So I do consider you guys best friends. You do not have a choice. We are besties. And like, I don't know. I just think it's so dope how literally we've never met each other in real life, but we'd be helping each other out like this. Like that's what friends are for. So if you ever think I'm not gonna read your comment, just know I read every single comment. If you want me to see something, feel free to comment it because I do give a f what you guys have to say, not gonna lie. I never wanna be that YouTuber that just is all in it for like the money and doesn't actually give a f about the people behind those numbers. And I can't even thank you guys enough. I say that all the time, but like, I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful that this is my life and I completely and utterly owe it all to you. So this is what the little pile of hair that's left looks like. So cute, I know. God, you're still watching this dude this is why i fucking love you hobnockers i hope you enjoyed this week's video if you want more video like like this if you want more videos like this make sure you leave a thumbs up don't forget to and if there's any specific fall videos that your little hearts desire make sure to leave them in the comment section since i do read all of my comments go check and i will see you next thursday I've been doing YouTube my whole life, still don't know how to be a YouTuber. Okay, love you, bye.